Hey guys, and welcome to 100% Chelsea. Some of you may recognise me from recent podcast videos or even fan interviews. If you don't know me, I'll introduce myself now. My name is Max Perry. I run a YouTube channel called The Twelfth Man with two friends of mine called Derek and Ben. Basically, we do real life football videos, we do FIFA videos and some podcast videos. We base ourselves around the whole football spectrum, especially European football, and we tend to do a lot of content on Premier League football. There will be a link in the description to the channel. If you could subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. But into the video. Today, I'll be reviewing Chelsea's 2-1 loss to West Ham. Obviously, it wasn't the best of results, a very poor result at that. A lot of Chelsea fans such as myself went into the game with a loss of hope after a good result last week against Villa and a good game midweek against Kiev. We didn't get the result, however, we played very well. Going into the game, I thought we had a good chance. I know West Ham are a big side and they have beaten top, top sides this season with Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal facing defeat at their home ground. So we were at a disadvantage in that sense. They've got some quality players, there's no doubt about that. I mean, Payet, for example, is an absolute god. One positive that I can take from the game today, however, is we did actually play fairly well. Obviously, the result was poor, but we were completely outclassed. What I'm going to take from that is a fact that I can sort of see a correlation in the sense that we tend to be gradually getting better. Obviously, against Villa, we didn't play well, but we got the result against Kiev. We played well. We didn't play too badly today, so at least we're sort of actually putting a little bit of effort in, which is good to see. But I'm really clutching at Shaw's there as a 2-1 defeat to West Ham isn't something you'd expect from a top side like Chelsea. Thankfully, we did look a lot balanced than we have been this season, but our style of play is an absolute mess. In recent years, we've been known for bringing a new style of play in the sense that we defend and then go on the counter-attack and manage to score when they've only got a few defenders back. That's something that we're not really doing. We're trying to pass it around and play beautiful football and it's not working. We don't have players that can do that. All I can really say coming out of today is it's very poor timing. I believe that if we were to play the same West Ham side today, last season, we still would have struggled to get a result. They were absolutely quality. And it's bad timing in the sense that our form has been terrible and Jose is sort of under fire as such that coming against a team as, as quality as that isn't going to help us. Anyway, onto a question I've seen quite a lot today. Are we in a crisis? Simple answer to that. No. Personally, I think that is a fairly stupid question, as if we were in a crisis, we'd be facing bankruptcy, we'd be uh, near liquidation, or we'd have been relegated. Currently, we're just in a bad run of form. It happens. It happens to all teams. I mean, what, 10, 15 years ago, this was something that our fans were used to. A lot of new generation fans need to get used to that. We've seen it happen to a lot of sides in recent years. United had it for a whole season. Liverpool had it well, until now for a good sort of 10 years. Arsenal had it for eight years, and that's who I'm going to use as an example. I know that there are a lot of Arsenal fans that watch these videos, and they do leave a lot of hate in the comments, and I know there's going to be a lot of hate in the comments from Arsenal fans in this video, but I am going to compliment a certain manager by the name of Arsene Wenger. This isn't something I do regularly, as I'm not a big fan of Arsenal, but what I appreciate and respect is that they sucked by their manager for eight years after he didn't win anything. He managed to get them a new stadium, he managed to get them financially secure in a very small amount of time and now they're able to spend big and they've cemented their place in European football for the long term future and they will be a top side for a very long time. Now you see Arsenal popping up and they actually have a chance at the title this season. They're probably going to have a better chance at the title next season after signing some more world class players. I can relate this to Jose Mourinho in the sense that what Jose has done since coming back is he's only spent money that he has gained from selling players. I feel like if we were to get a new manager, it would be a huge step backwards in the sense that they'd come in, spend 100 mil in one summer on some top players. We might win the league, we might not, but he'll be gone in two seasons. Then we're stuck with no manager and players that that manager likes. And then we get a new manager in who might not like them players because it doesn't suit his style of play and we'll end up spending another 100 million. And that's just going to go on and on and we won't be financially secure. You look at what Jose Mourinho is trying to do in the sense that he's trying to get us a new stadium. He's as I said, only spend the money that he's earning, trying to put us in a very long-term sustainable situation, which is perfect and that's what we need. We've been going hard with spending money for 10 years now. If we can actually have a manager that sort of cements our place in European football, then that's a gift. And a lot of fans are getting impatient three months into this bad run of form. That let's be realistic, it's not going to last for a long time. There's no need to call it a crisis. There's no need to sort of beg the manager to leave. There's no need to get angry about it. It's something that happens. And today we were purely outclassed. It's that simple. On to Jose Mourinho. A lot of fans were complaining that he wasn't rotating the squad enough. 
I mean, he's now put Zima at right back, which, don't get me wrong, it doesn't work and it seems pretty ridiculous, but at least he's rotating it. He's listening to what the fans want and he's trying new things. He gave loss to Chica a go. Wasn't his best game. He does deserve more more attempts in the team. I do believe that. But he, he's given everyone a go, which is good. That's what we wanted. And now we're complaining that he's picking stupid choices. I mean, he's got to try everything to try and get that form back. Certain players aren't playing well. I must admit that I do feel quite sorry for Bubba Rahman as the one game that he did play, he didn't play that badly. He did look shaky and he did look like a liability at times, which happens with players. I mean, it was a big game for him. It was a big opportunity. He didn't really want to mess it up, which is fair enough. But if you look at the games we have, the League Cup hasn't yet started. Once it does, I think we'll be seeing him in a lot of League Cup team sheets. He'll be playing most games and once he does that and gets a little bit more use of the players around him, is able to play under the pressure, we'll start seeing him in Premier League games. He just needs to work under that. We haven't quite hit the road to run him with uh, League Cup yet. It hasn't really started. It hasn't really kicked off. Once it does in December, you'll start seeing him come into the team around January, February time. And I think that's good that he's sort of waiting on that, not rushing anyone into a team that they're not used to as that could that could do a lot of bad things for players' confidence, especially someone as young as Baba Rahman. But I'm going to leave it there. As always, I'd like to see your comments in the description. Please like, comment and subscribe. This has been 100% Chelsea. Goodbye. You know, you're on a yellow card. You know the situation your club's in. You know the situation that your team's in. Why are you going to put yourself into trouble? It is, isn't it? Yes, it is a sad